I paid my own bride price because my husband doesn't have any money. And at this point, I'm already sleeping around because the financial burden has become so heavy on me. Cheating does not give money. Cheating makes you a prostitute. There is nothing like I cheated because my husband is lazy or I cheated because I'm looking for money. You're a prostitute, you're a prostitute. Buy a woman's phone, she go cheat for person where they send her a recharge card. You are a cheat. It's a your blood. I'm not a party to I'm married and I have boyfriend. All, all of you that have sugar boy. A lot of all these Lagos married men. If you are the eye me, your television, your husband might be beside you. Many of your wife have sugar boy. Mm -hmm. So you will see most women, you tell them, you see that they are alpha female. They want to do what men can do. I don't think that's a flex for me. For me, I think it's trauma. Because a woman is a woman. As controversial and as crazy as I am. I see I have that a cake mindset that if you cheat in marriage, your husband will not succeed. Man, get work. Especially in Lagos. Now, una food is Lagos. Una go just go sit down for woman house. Umu has it jigolo. Ndiyo jam we jigo. Hi guys, it's Moment with Blessing CEO. You know, this is where you get the juice, the vibes, everything that happened behind closed doors, everything about relationship, sex, and marriage. And the only place to tune in is channel 189 Pop Central on DSTV. I hope you're sitting in front of your television looking as beautiful and as glamorous as I look right now. Yes, I know I look beautiful. So today, I know you guys are already sitting down with your popcorn, waiting for the juice, the juicy story. We're not to like gossip. Ah, we're not to like gist. Anyways, we have a very interesting story today. And I think the story is a very relatable story that so many women will be able to relate to. So let me quickly read out the story to you. My producer said I can use my phone, but initially I was forming a jibbo. I'm supposed to use an iPad, right? You know, bougie. But let me use my phone. Don't worry, though. After all, a better iPhone. Mm? So, guys, let's quickly read out the story. Um, the lady said, I am now a cheat because I want to stay married. I married my husband because he was cute. Then I was doing well. I was working with the bank, making money. For me, then, it was about looks and children. I felt that I could foot the bill and take care of him. It wasn't a big deal for me as of then, until after four years after marriage, I paid my own bride price. I'm not ashamed to say that, because my husband doesn't have any money. We have three kids now, and at this point, I'm already sleeping around, because the financial burden has become so heavy on me. I felt I could handle this before marriage, but right now, I'm turning into a prostitute. Blessing CEO, should I let this marriage go? I think I am the one that made my husband lazy. Or should I continue what I'm doing since my husband no, they even put eye for waiting I they do. He no send me. He does the job of a nanny, takes the kids to school, bring them back. He even knows how to cook. Automatically, I'm the man and he's the woman and he plays the role very well. What do you think? For me, I'm getting tired of even sleeping around and paying the bills. You know that woman, you know that woman thing that you want a man to do something for you? I've done it for nine years and I'm getting tired. Please share your opinion with me. Wow. I think this is like... Um, this, this relationship and marriage thing is like a roller coaster. I think we keep going round and round and round and round and round. I think the first topic we ever had on this show was something a bit related. So this woman is saying that, you know, like a lot of you do, and come and deceive us on social media, <laughs> that she married her husband with her money. She paid her bride, bride price. A lot of you paid your bride price. Why are you looking at me? Why are you looking at me? You need to pay your bride price. You will now come and be shouting and be, and be disturbing the singlehood and the sisterhood. So this lady is saying that she met a very cute guy. She was doing well, so she didn't see it like a big deal. But of it, most of it, I always say, eh, even if a man does not provide, if I have money, I can also do it. I think that was this woman at that point. She said she was doing well, and she felt that she could handle the responsibility. Remember I used to tell you guys that once you are single, it's different from when you are married. You know, when you're single and you're dating a guy, you feel you can do some certain things. But when children, in-laws, you know, marriage comes a lot of responsibilities. And trust me, if one person is carrying it, it can be tiring. That's why even as a man, no matter how rich you are, you still want your woman to be independent. 
you know, when I'm not around, be able to buy Indomie for the kids. You don't have to come even when I'm in a meeting or even if I'm in a billionaire. You know, so I think that's what's happening to this woman right now. And she's saying that she's sleeping around because the burden has become so much on her. She has to now sleep around. It's actually embarrassing for a woman to be saying she's playing the role of a man and her husband is playing the role of a woman. So I think she has made her husband so lazy to the point that he has gotten so comfortable playing a feminine role and she's playing the masculine role. Now let me tell you how this thing happened. Most of these things are trauma. Some of us actually think that um, we are alpha females, people like me too. But most times it's actually very traumatic. There are some places we are coming from. Many women who are willing to carry responsibilities like pay their bride price, marry a man, foot bills, are women who did not have childhood. Many ladies do not have um, childhood. Many ladies became adults at 12, 13, 14, 15. You don't they train your younger ones for school. Your mama don't they give you something to go hawk. A lot of women grew up and became providers even before they became lovers. So you will see most women, you tell them, you see that they are alpha female. They want to do what men can do. They want to carry a certain responsibility. I don't think that's a flex for me. For me, I think it's trauma. Because a woman is a woman. A woman has that feminine sweet. Right now, you've turned your husband to, to a woman, <laughs> right? If you start to wear woman clothes now, start to transgender, and people start to drag him. <laughs> the only difference is that he's not wearing woman clothes, but he's doing everything a woman does, and you're doing everything a man does. So I will still stand my ground, and I tell women, please allow men to do their jobs. They are providers. Even the Bible said it. Men are providers. Even the cost where God costs man. He said, I don't know the part of the Bible, I'm not a preacher of love, but I go to church and I'm a Christian. God said men will suffer to till the soil and women will suffer to give birth. Women, why are you procuring men's costs and carrying women's costs at the same time? Only you go suffer, but only you go still suffer till the soil. I think it's so much for you as a person. Allow men to carry their cross now. Let them be able to provide, no matter how little. Even if you're doing well as a woman, I think this provision thing is just men. God knows why he gave it to men, because Adam was doing well in the Garden of Eden, taking care of everything before Eve carried her, her two left legs, can't can give her fruit, way in chop, we can't make God pursue them for Garden of Eden. And not talk true for the Bible matter to all my Christian brothers and sisters. Um, 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 Adam was doing well. Yes, so men are providers. They are, he was doing well alone before God just said, okay, he needed company. God just told Eve to come and be walking around naked, you know, a bit of shaker. Our work is just to, you know, seduce this man. It's not to go and, God did not tell Eve to go and be, you know, tilling the soil or planting gava. God just told Eve, just be walking around, just keep, just keep him busy. He just needs company. Even if Adam was trying to do something, if we just go and be just seen, you know, that's your work. But no, you won't collect Adam's work. Your work is to give a man fruit to eat. Your work is not to plant the tree. So even the fruits that Eve plucked and gave to Adam, is she the one that planted the tree? Did she met the tree there? <laughs> so women, I'm going to say, jokes apart, even though I'm trying to be sarcastic about this, to make it very relatable, allow men do their jobs, no matter how little, now, this woman is a cheat and she's sleeping around. And I don't think any man will be happy, even if your wife is doing well, I know that she's sleeping around. She said it in her own words that she's becoming a prostitute and she doesn't like it. Right now, she's asking us, should she leave the marriage or should she stay put in the marriage? Because the man is even comfortable. Maybe the man is not even the kind of person that goes through her phone. The man is doing the school run, cooking, and just playing the woman role while she's just providing in the home. So what do you think? Do you think this woman should leave this marriage and she should just continue their shower work in the marriage? Because this is prostitution in my I don't think it comes with so much dignity. For me, as a certified relationship expert, I'm supposed to ask. Me, I, would, I always tell women, I am not a party to people who cheat in marriage. I still have that archaic mindset, as controversial and as crazy as I am. I still have that archaic mindset that if you cheat in marriage, your husband will not succeed. I don't know where it came from, but I just have it. So I always tell women, even when they come to my office for therapy, I'll say, if you know you're tired of the marriage, just go out. I just feel it brings bad luck. That's what I feel. It might sound a cake, but it works for me. 
It's either I'm in the marriage or I'm out. If I'm done with a man, I'll take... But I cannot be sleeping around the marriage. Me, self, eh, I'm too open. I don't think any man is actually going to marry me and I'll be sleeping around and you will not know. Because me, I don't know about other people. I'm personalizing it right now myself. I don't know how to share emotion. If I've started sleeping with another man that is giving me money, my husband will know because anything you do will be pepper in my body. If you talk, I'll tell you to shut up. So me, I don't know how women actually hide these emotions of sleeping with different men and still come back home and be a wife. Trust me. If you marry me and I start to cheat, you must know. Because you go begin, it irritates me. Anything where you do, go, they pepper me. So maybe because I understand myself, I'd rather walk away from the marriage than bring disgrace. Because I feel in Africa, no matter how exposed we are, the biggest disgrace any woman can get is the fact that your husband threw you out of his house because of cheating. I would rather live honorably. We can come and speak English and say we can no longer cohabit. You know, those big English. But you don't have to wait and have a label. You know, I don't think there's any man that wants to even date you when you tell the man, um, I left my previous marriage because I slept with somebody else. Any man that hears that kind of past is going to be insecure. So for me, I'm going to tell the woman, leave the marriage if you're tired or you work harder, you get a better job, or you reduce your expenses. Yes, you guys can go to a lower place. If you're staying on the island, you can go to the mainland. You know, a more affordable place, instead of you to be sleeping around. That's just the thing. If you're comfortable providing and your husband is a good man, the only thing he doesn't have is money and you are okay doing it, just get a more credible job. You can even add businesses to it. These days as a woman, you don't need to sleep around to make money. That's the honest truth. Except I shall all day your blood. So we're going to open up the phone line for you to actually you know, throw up your opinions. The number to call is right on your screen. And please, please, I don't want to shout this night because this night is baby girl. Don't, don't, don't make me to scream. If you are dialing that number, Turn down the volume of your television. If you call and I hear, crook, 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 crook. <laughs> it's nothing to stow you, but I'm going to stone the camera. <laughs> so please, if you're calling the number on your screen, turn down the volume of your television because many times you get to call and the volume of your TV is high. I don't get to hear anything you're saying. So the number to call is on your screen. So you get to call us to tell us what you think, if this woman should leave a marriage or if she should go out of the marriage. Because honestly, I love to hear opinions. Hello? Hello, good evening. Good evening, how are you doing? I'm fine. Hello? I can hear you, sir. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, sir. I can hear you. Go ahead. Hello? I think we lost that Hello. Hello, good evening. Can you... Please turn down the volume of your TV so I can hear you. Hello. I can hear you. Good evening. Okay, we lost the caller. Please turn down the volume of your television when you're calling. I think we have another caller. Hello. Hello. Hello, good evening. Uh huh. Good evening. I can hear you. Go ahead. Hello. I can hear you. Good evening. I love you so much. Oh. Good evening. I can hear you. Go ahead. Hello. Is this a proposal or something? Do we still have the caller that said I love you so much? The caller has gone. Oh my God. I don't know. That, that call just mesmerized me right now. What's the topic again? Is it I love you so much? Or, you know, I didn't see that coming. I love you too, darling. Oh my God. Anyways, thanks for calling and I love you too. Thank you so much. Please, if you want to call the number on the screen, turn down the volume of your TV. It's two moments with Blessing CEO Channel 189. And was you talking about a woman who carried responsibility? We have a caller. Hello? Hello? Man, the calls are actually jamming. Please, if we finally get to pick your call, turn down the volume of your TV so that we can enjoy the show. Just share your opinion. 
You know, you guys have always had less than CEO's opinion. This is, this show gives you an opportunity to also. It's like commenting. Come on, comment. How does your comments? Hello. 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 Good evening, sir. Hello. Good evening, sir. I can hear you. Please turn down the volume of your TV. If you don't turn down the volume of your TV, we're not going to enjoy the show. I'm not going to hear you. Please, if you're calling, turn down the volume of your TV. It's going to be echoing. Don't forget to steal Pop Central, DSTV channel 189. Do we have another caller there? Hello? Hello? Ah. Why are we losing all these callers tonight? What's up? What's going on? What's up? Turn down the volume of your TV. Hello? Hello? Hello. Good evening, sir. Is there something wrong with our phone lines? Hello, can you hear me? Turn down the volume of your TV, sir. Please, I can so I can hear you. I can even hear myself. It's echoing. If you don't turn down the volume of your TV, why, why are we Nigerians so stubborn? No, no, they always not they talk for the television. Eh? Now, so that come on, shoot, stone the break camera now. Nah. They go charge me 1.5 billion. So please turn down the volume of a TV, my lovers. Please, so that I can get to hear you and you get to share your opinion. Do we have another caller? So we are still talking about a woman. Hello? Hello, good afternoon, love. Good evening. How are you doing? Hello, good evening, Ma. Good evening, how are you doing? Hello, good afternoon. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm good, Ma. Okay, do you want to contribute anything to the show? What's your name and where are you calling from? Can you turn down the volume of your TV, please? Oh, God. It's like, I'm going to be coming to this... I'm going to be coming to this studio with Koboko. Please, if you don't turn down the volume of your TV, I cannot hear what you're saying. I know it's fun to want to hear yourself, but please, for us to hear each other, I have to turn down the volume of your TV. We are still talking about a lady who carried responsibility, who saw a fine man, married herself, she had kids, and now she's cheating and sleeping around. At this point, she's asking us, should she leave the marriage or should she still stick in the marriage? It's a situation whereby a woman carries the responsibility of a man and a man carries the responsibility of a woman. They switch roles. So at this point, we want to get to hear from the callers. Hello? Hello, good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from, sir? Okay, my name is Efe. I'm calling from Plaka. Okay, sir, do you want to share something or you want to drop your opinion on the show? Sir, you want to turn down the volume of your TV yes, so I can I just want to drop my opinion. Go ahead, sir. It's getting frustrating. Do we see have the caller on? Hello? We have another caller. Hello. Hello. Good evening, sir. Hello. Good evening, sir. I can hear you. What's your name and where are you calling Good evening. from? Evening. Uh, can you hear me? Loud and clear, sir. Hello. I can hear you. What's your name and where are you calling from? Okay, sir, you want to drop your opinion on the topic we're talking about today? Hello? I can hear you loud and clear, sir. Go ahead. Hello? Uh, can you hear me? Loud and clear, sir. I'm calling from Fort Jurassic. Okay, sir, you want to drop your opinion on the show? Go ahead. Gosh, I think I'm going to be coming to this show with a bottle of water because 
turn down the volume of your TV. The calls are jamming. The calls are coming in. But I can't hear you. Once you're talking and the television is on, I can't hear you. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, sir. How are you? What's your name and where are you calling from? This is um, Miss, Miss Becky. Okay, you want to contribute to the show, ma'am? Hello? Yes, miss. Go ahead. Concerning the lady. Okay. That's currently wanted. And by your side, please. If she knows, if she knows she can't keep on doing what she is doing, she should leave the marriage. Do you, the aspect of doing prostitution is what I don't think. Okay. Thank you very much. So, I think we lost the caller sessions on my side. Instead of doing prostitute, leave the marriage. Instead of doing prostitution, leave the marriage. I don't think anybody was going to advise you to stay in a marriage and be sleeping around. To me, I don't even want to hear it. It's not a flex. There's no amount of civilization that is going to put my mindset. I'm a crazy person. I am controversial, but controversy is different from waywardness. Uh, because you are controversial, let me say you be a show. You can't be a prostitute and be married. That's not what the constitution of marriage is about. Because you see this thing called marriage is very influential. There are some certain things you start to encourage. It becomes a norm. The beauty about marriage is that serenity, that, I don't know how to put it, that fact that somebody marries you and know that, okay, this person is mine. There's trust. This person is for me, you know? When you start bringing all this sleeping around, it's not marriage. Even in relationships, it's... it's, it's if you cannot be committed, if you cannot be faithful, even when you're doing bank, when you're, if you jump from bank to bank, even you go confused, you know, you're going to stick to a particular bank where you even know that you're going to put enough money. Hello. Hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening, ma'am. What's your name and where are you calling from? You picked. I picked. Hello. Good evening, ma'am. Hello, good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Onye, calling from Enugu. Enugu. So do you have anything you want to contribute to the show? Yes, I want to contribute because I feel that the woman is deceiving herself. Oh, okay. Yes, because for how long are you going to stay in that marriage? You understand? You still have a long way to go in that marriage. So if you keep prostituting in that marriage... Your husband will still find out, and it's going to be a problem. So it's either you tell your husband to get a job, job. and you you find something doing. doing too, so that you two will come together and help yourselves in that marriage. Instead of prostituting, carrying the whole problem on your head, it's not going to help you. Mm -hmm. One is that it will be a problem, and... Uh, it's not even okay. You, you already, because he's peppering you already for nine years and five years in your marriage, and he's, he's not working anywhere. Understand? That is your body. So that's my own contribution. I think that the husband should get something, and she too should get something, and they will now help the family. Thank That's you so my own much. opinion. Thank you. And Thank I love you. And I love you too. The fact that you're calling from Enugu State actually puts a smile on my face. Very intelligent, very articulated. She said something that is very, very important. And that's why I like it when people call. Even myself, my brain did numb sometimes. She made a very important point. And I'm going to put out the key point. She said, you man, man, Adam, find what do. Find what do. Not be only go lie, you go the find what do. So if the man can get a job and the woman can get a job and they come together, the burden will not be so much. How will you leave, how will you leave responsibility for a woman for nine years? And you especially are not to do corner garlic. I don't encourage it, but as a man, the reason why you share, it, even if you're not, you're not earning so much, it's going to help. That's what marriage should be about. Eh? So man, get work. So all the, actually in Lagos, now, when I food this Lagos, Una go just go sit down for uma house. Umwazi jigolo. Ndio jam we jego. 
I'm not taking this personal. The call as people should call before I carry this show personal. <laughs> so we have another caller. Hello. I think we lost the caller. No, you push no annoying me. Wait, you, Adam, Adam, you, you, that's Adam that is watching me. I, I call even the use verse, they eye both, uh, both my director, maybe, hey. anybody, maybe, man, here, just the eyes them. You, Adam, hello. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, darling. I can hear you. Go ahead. What's your name and where are you calling from? Good evening. Good evening, darling. What's your name and where are you calling from? Turn down the volume of your TV set. Oh my God! I need enough callers because you guys are the ginger. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? I need enough callers. Hello, good evening. Sir, please Hello. could you turn down the volume of your TV? This is Joseph calling from Edusti. Okay, sir. Share your opinion. Sir, can you turn down the volume of your I can't can I can't hear you. Reduce the volume of your television. Director, I'm going to throw I'm going to remove my shot and stone these people. I will scatter this camera. What is it? Turn down the volume of your TV. Do you want to come and say I'm on colors? What's his name? So turn down the volume of your TV if you're calling. I mean, this... I mean, I mean, I mean, say, what is wrong? What the blessing drink this night? I did not drink anything. Reduce the television. I miss you guys. I want to talk to you guys, for God's sake. When I go increase television, I know someone go to the video and I say, oh, I spoke with blessing CEO. I know you want to speak with me, guys. But I cannot hear you. It will be echoing. I'll be listening to myself. Eh? Please. Actually, the men, I want to hear from the men and what they feel. So, the number to call is on your screen. It is TU Pop Central Channel 189 DSTV. We have a caller. Hello? No. Hello, good evening. Hello. Oh, God. I'm going to remove this lash. I can't even stone you with my wig now. I will, I will carry this. I will remove this wig. Yeah, good evening. Good evening. I can hear you. Good evening. Good evening, ma'am. What's your name and where are you calling from? I, hello. I can hear you, ma'am. Your name and where are you calling yes, from? My name is Rina. Good evening. Okay. Where are you calling from, darling? Okay. I'm calling from Norway, Oregon State. Okay. So you want to contribute to the show? Go ahead. I can hear um, you. I think the first thing to do is to address... Um, some issues before um, things be back. Starting okay. with, for the woman to have said the right by I think it's good to be called. Okay. There is a cause that needs to be addressed because she has said the right by automatically making her the man in the marriage. Okay. So, um, henceforth, she's going to be taking um, hold as a man in the marriage because she has already paid her right side. She married herself. So I think we need to address that for, for the project. That's just what I um, think. All right, darling. Thank you so much. I think it, that, there's another perspective this caller actually called. And we're going to address that. She said she married herself. And we need to address that point. But let's be very honest before we quickly run for a break. You said she married herself. And we need to address that. What are we addressing exactly? The only thing she did was that she gave the man the money to pay the bride price. My father had three. Oh, my mother is going to kill me on this television. Mommy, I'm sorry, but let me just tell them. My father was in love with my mom back in those days. My father had 300 naira. My mother had 700 naira. She gave my father the 700 naira to add. Seven, eight, 900 naira. And they paid her bride price. My parents are still married to today. It didn't mean. In fact, if my mom wants to talk, my father will say, I'll pay you back that money. <laughs> So uh, when you say marrying yourself, contributing to your marriage, in as much as we are using it in a very funny way, there's actually nothing wrong. If your husband no get, you give her money for bride price. That's why we're in a civilized world. What a man can do, a woman can do. So let's really go on a, go on a break. We're going to be back right now. What a man can do, a woman can do. So we can pay our bride price too. <laughs> Hi, 
Hi guys, welcome back to Moments with Blessing CEO. It's everything that happens behind closed doors. And it remains channel 189 DSTV Pop Central only. Now here you they see this kind of show. Everything we they talk at my CB. No shaking. And we're still on the show. For those of you who are just tuning into the show, maybe you just enter a house or you just bar finish. You just sit down for in front of a television and you're just seeing how beautiful and glamorous I am. I'm also single. Not searching though. We're actually talking about a beautiful woman who paid her bride price, enter marriage, marry man. She has two kids, and right now she says she's prostituting in the marriage because she has been carrying responsibility for nine years. Her husband is not doing anything, her husband is not beating her, but she said the husband is practically the woman. She's now practically the man. She's complaining that she's tired of prostituting because she's basically sleeping around in the marriage just to provide. And she said the man doesn't really care because the man just focuses on those kids, cook the meal. In fact, I think the man has gotten so comfortable with playing the feminine role. And at this point, she's saying, should she leave the marriage or should she stay in the marriage and continue prostituting? After all, the woman, man is not even stressing her. The man is doing the, woman, the woman's job. For me, my advice was for the woman to leave the marriage. I am not a party to prostitution in marriage. I'm not even a party to prostitution as a whole or for a married woman. I don't give in to that. It's even, as I'm even saying it now, I feel somehow. The fact that you, you women are bold, though. This generational women, people are very, you know, even me where we are white weeks, sit down here, I'm not bold like Una. Like, you're actually bold to say you're prostituted in marriage. There are actually some things I'm not even bold enough to say. Like, no. Please, stop it. I don't, I'm not a party to, I'm married and I have boyfriend. All, all of you that have sugar boy. A lot of all these Lagos married men, if you like the eye me your television, your husband might be beside you. Many of your wife have sugar boy. Mm -hmm. with veins. Dark veins, I have to use Igbo. Yes, don't eye me, women. Yes, I know we are sisterhood. But people need to stop this thing. Actually, in Lagos and Abuja and Port High Courts. Port High Courts. Abuja and Lagos. Now Lagos is full. You go see married women with small, small, who wants it 24, 21 years of Abito Shaker. Women, stop it. It's prostitution. They will say, I have smallie. Which one be smally? Stop it. Men, don't look at your wife somehow. It's not all the women. Who, for you, now come and say, it's been sealed. scatter your marriage. <laughs> the mommy, I was just trying to tease you guys. So don't forget the number to call. If you want to contribute to the show, it's right on your screen. And please, my darlings, when you're calling, turn down the volume of your television so that we can enjoy the show. I want to hear your opinion. I don't want to be talking to myself. Do you want to drop comment for Instagram? They cost me. Call me now. Make I give you buzz buzz. I've never actually seen a caller in this show that called me to insult me. It's not only the one where they say, leave very dark money. If you want to talk to me, run. Or where? Wallow. Where are all those trolls? I even thought that when I come on television like this, all those where are all of you? We'll call now. Let me answer you. But I'm going to answer you with so much love because this, this show is about love. So feel free to call to drop your opinion. Hello? Hello, good evening. Good evening, sir. Please, can you turn down the volume of your TV for me? I want to hear you. How are you? I'm fine, sir. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, can you hear me? It's clear. Loud and clear, sir. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Kefas. I'm calling from him. Okay, sir. You want to contribute to the show? I really want to hear from a man. Please go ahead. My name is Kef. I heard you. All right, sir. Go ahead, sir. I can hear you. Please, uh, um, women, please. You people should listen to me. A woman cannot, and a man cannot be a woman. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Very good. A man should play a role of a man. A woman should play a role of a woman in a house. Yes, sir. So that woman that, that thinks she... A right price for a man to now complain that vision is for she it that is why she had to to look for a man that she can pay right price and and keeping 
him in her house. So I think, but please, it's not advisable. It's not. Okay, sir. Let 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 look for a way to sort and help the, the woman. A mistake. Women oh. should put it at the back of. A man cannot be a woman, and a woman cannot mm -hmm. be a man. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, sir. God bless Thank you. you. God bless you, sir. Can I leave my ear? Hey. I think this is my kind of man. He's an alpha male. You Not know, as I draw ear. I tell people that I'm a, I'm a humble woman. You people say, oh, bless you. You are too tough. Talk. As you tell me, listen. You know, see, I say, you just see the authority. Even you as a woman, where they show when that man said, listen, I swear you drop your phone, begin to listen. Did you see the authority in his voice? I actually love the man. He sounded like a very, he was passing a message and he needed us to leave me. I draw ear. You know, I draw ear. Women, please. You could see that man that just called. If you listen to his voice, you will see that. You know, when evil men listen to show like this, let me tell you something psychologically. If a man is actually watching this show, you just see yourself subconsciously looking at your wife or your girlfriend. <laughs> After this show, self, your husband feels just the verse. Honey, what did I do? Nothing. Now bless you. <laughs> so the perception, I don't even like to bring these stories because trust me, it gets some gist where they cost Wahala for house. Gist will not concern you. You never sleep around, but your husband can just hear this. We are human beings and our ears are important doorways to your heart. And that's why me, I frown at it. Make no come talk to you blessing. See your support to now. No, 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 no. Prostitution in marriage for me is a no. If you carry your shower after marriage, we get a shower club. Do I'm sorry before marriage? I'm not supporting a shower, but people's business. I cannot come and spoil people's business. But once it is marriage, you have decided to drop everything. Marriage is about commitment. Marriage is about fidelity. Fidelity is about focus. I want to give this my all. And the essence of marriage simply means I want to give him my all and bring out the best in it. If you're sleeping around, you can never see the good in your husband. And maybe that's the reason why your husband is backward. Remember I said it comes to the cost. You see? Maybe that's the reason why he has never gotten a job. You see? Now I swear. Maybe if you stop sleeping around, better opportunities will come. Yes. This man said... He, now I swear, follow him. You go, yeah, they shout, I, I'm a prostitute because I will keep saying it. I'm an evil girl, but I still have that a cake because I know some people are going to call me a cake. I still have that a cake mentality that when you sleep around the marriage, your husband will be backwards. Trust me. I have it at the back of And trust me, women, if you're sleeping around the marriage and you know that your husband will be backward, then you are wicked. And maybe that's why your husband is actually backward because you cannot tell me for nine years. A man has not seen something to do. He cannot drive Uber. Maybe it's all this you're sleeping around that is making this man backward. So please, if you know you're sleeping around the marriage, I think it's not a good thing. It's not a good omen. It's a no for me. I can be crazy, but not with prostitution and, you know, walking up and down. If, course. I know these young, young boys these days, they carry costs everywhere. Mm. Yes, they might look good physically, but inside them, they carry generational costs. They walk out with disease. They are carrying curses everywhere. So when you go and pick up this thing, you carry it to your home that is supposed to be a sacred place. Carry a mental marriage. Even your children go begin follow generational curses where they don't know anything about. So women, we need to stop this. It's not something to be proud of. Yes, it has nothing to do with being an African woman or being an American woman or being a black American or being exposed. No, if you want to be committed, be committed. Even in friendship, it's not even in marriage. You should stay one place. You cannot be everywhere. I shall not be work. I work for some people. I will not be work. So feel free to call the number right on your screen if you want to contribute to the topic. It's a very important topic. I see how women are shining away. Hello. Hello. Hello, darling. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Please turn down the volume of your TV. Hello. Hello, darling. I can hear you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Please, if you're calling, turn down. Which one is yay, yay, yay on top of television? And you push not make anything. I have local fans. Can you guys be bougie for which one is yay on top of um, national TV? Please, if you want to call, darling, call the number on your screen, channel 189DSTV. Hello. Hello. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, darling. How are you doing? What's your name and where are you calling from? I'm blessing. I'm blessing. Are you blessing? <laughs> I love your tattoos. They are so, they are, they are giving. 
Oshé, thank you. Yeah. So do you want to contribute anything to the show? So my own contribution is that woman she just get out from whatever she's doing, anything for the future. She just wants to stop it and focus on her marriage. Mm. Try to be well with her husband. Try to go well with her husband. She should stop it. See, that one is not an excuse. She should stop it and start it. But that's to look for something else doing. It can be useful for herself and her marriage. So that's my own contribution. Thank you, darling. Blessing. I know so that blessing with a guest sense. Very outspoken. Hmm? Thank you so much. She actually said, beautiful lady, focus on your marriage. You see, blessing, the only thing probably her own doesn't have a CEO, but she spoke very fluently. She said, focus on your marriage. It makes a man backwards. I have said it. I will keep saying it. Marriage is focus. <clears throat> If you're sleeping around, you can never see the best in people. And you know, eh, people are going to say I'm a cake now. Yes, so let me sound a cake. Just like our pastors used to say. Do you know that when you are sleeping around, you are sharing spirits? Why are you eyeing me? Why are you, why are you eyeing me? Why are you, you, what, oh, you are me. So you are beats me from the TV. Enter inside the STV. Pop central channel. What, and come and beat blessing CEO. Beats me, yes. Why are you looking at me? Some women are eyeing me on this show. Yes. It comes with a lot. Stop it. Mm? <laughs> so feel free to call the number right on your screen to contribute. Hello. Hello. Good evening, sir. Hello. Good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Yes, my name is Tayo. I'm calling from Lagos. Mm, Tayo, I like the way you sound. Do you want to contribute to the show, Tayo? Yes. Yeah, so I would like to contribute. Go ahead. Yeah. Ah, so, Tayo. um... What I have to say is that I feel women should stop aiding lazy men. Hmm. And as much as it is good to support a man, I think it is totally wrong when the woman takes the full responsibility. Because if you do that, then the man will totally hands off. When a woman starts behaving like she's strong and she's strong, the man will just totally hands off and just watch her do everything. So I think allow a man be a man. From the beginning, allow the man be a man. Let him take up his responsibility. If he has to get a job, let him get a job. Often, because a woman, because when a woman starts doing the responsibility of a man, they sound, they look desperate, mm. and men don't like that. Mm. So let us stop aiding lazy men. Let mm. the men man up. So for this case, I think it's just best for the woman to leave the marriage because the man is already lazy and she's cheating already. And on that ground, even the Bible supports that the, the woman can go away. So that's mm. my contribution. Thank you, Tayo. Are you single? <laughs> I'm not. I'm married. Ah. Oh, Tayo. Why are all the correct guys take you? Thank you so much, Tayo. And I think your wife is very lucky because you're very articulated. Thank you so much, Tayo. God bless you. Thank you. <laughs> Tayo's laughing. May your wife not go army for them. A question asked about I know key person. Jokes apart, I actually like what Tayo said from Lagos. And I'm actually shocked that he's Tayo, you're about demon. Mm. I like the fact that he said, thank God this is coming from Emmanuel. I will repeat what he said for those of you men that will do ear. Now that Ogata, your court, I know most of you will enter kitchen to go and bring water. Let me repeat it. Are you back? Sit down, women. Mr. Tayo said, allow a man to be a man. Once you start to breed them, they become lazy. All you men that want to form Jagaban. I'm going to still use my mom on this show. Thank God she might not be watching. Mom, if you're watching, I'm so sorry. I'm easy as an example. Who else will I use? You want to drag me to the police station? Let me use my mother. <laughs> my mom will say, there are some times that my father annoys her to the call. And I will ask her why. She said, the biggest mistake I ever made in Kiruka was showing your father that I was strong. Just like Tayo said, once you show a man that you are strong, he will hands up. If the bob spoil, wait, make it come back, he go change that. The moment you don't carry chair, climb, fix bob, madam. Now you go to change bob for the house. The moment my husband is not around, let me not undress. Stay in the dark. Buy a rechargeable fan. Even that small fan where we the hole. They wait for her, make it come back. The moment you go drag Jen, Otilo. Your husband will be sleeping and tell you, baby, go on the gen now. Or even if you own the gen, tell him, baby, there's this neighbor I used to call, and men don't like that. Make sure that the man is fine. And you tell him that there's this fine, this boy in the street, that young boy, that 21, he used to come and own gen. By the time you tell your husband, he will be coming early to own the gen. My point is, help, but don't show a man that 
They will, it's even natural. When you show people that you can do something, I remember growing up as a child, there's nothing you do for my mom that she's ever satisfied. You cook soup, she goes say, you know, put on salt. Do you know what we used to do to my mom then? Anytime she enter kitchen, all of us, we go out. One day she now said, why are we lazy? We say, mommy, you are Jagaban now. It's only you that can cook soup. She has showed us that she can do everything. So even we as her children, we became lazy. Allow men be men. Do the small one that you can do as a woman. Allow them. Men are men. It's when you go and start doing a bit of shaker. That's the reason why your husband cannot carry handbag for you, but he will be carrying handbag for side chick. One 21 year old. Your 65 year old husband is carrying her handbag. But you, you will carry three buckle bag. Your husband will be looking at you because you have told him that you are a bit of shaker now. You are Jagaban. He'll be looking at you from the side mirror, struggling. Yes. I've seen a lot of married women that their husband will drive to the market. And I'll be like, is that this man cannot help? Eh, it's because you form a bit of shaker. You'll be carrying four bags. Your husband will be looking at you. No. Women allow men to be men. And I'm so glad this is coming from a man. It's still moments with blessings to you. And we're still on Pop Central Channel 189 on DSTV. If you're just coming and you're just sitting down, man, this is the show to be. And we're talking about everything that happens behind closed doors. And most of the stories we talk about are very relatable. So feel free to call the number right on your screen to share your opinion. Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening there. How are you doing? What's your name and where are you calling from? This is Jason, calling from a BC. My friend did call me a wine. Okay. Go yeah. ahead. So, for that, concerning what you're saying, I'm really, I'm really enjoying the program. So, okay. there are so many reasons why women do cheat. Marriage is not something that we can just jump into. Because some men and children want women to cheat. Yeah. Because when we take a look at it, there are some men that just want their wife to be like liability to them. Because some of them feel that they have the money, they can keep their wife at home without engaging themselves in something. So those are so many will be wise. So apart from that said, we can still take a look at it from another dimension. Okay. So women should be not not them being a liability. They can also choose choose to choose to cheat. Based on one or two things. Like? And what are those things? Let's take a look at now. There are some women and they love men based on their own categories. Because when you take that, you understand the woman. Definitely she will open another, cha another chapter. Okay. But so in another way around, men cheat more than women. So that's just the truth. When you have to talk about this thinking of the thing, it's not something that you can just get the answer to it. So it's something that is very, very, very specific and very, very difficult to get the right answer and why this is why women cheat. For men to be cheap. Yeah. So Thank you so much. Definitely, sir. I really love the app speech. And I'm following, I'm a big fan of it. So. Thank you so much, darling. God that bless was. you. Thank you so much. God bless you. I actually love what this caller said. Very important. He wanted to bring another, you want you will bring another topic now, but we are going to leave the topic. He said men cheat more than women. Who told you? Who told who, who tell you that? If we want to come, women cheat past men. But this is a topic for another day because if we open this chapter, this whole even everybody is eyeing me here, but I am not looking at anybody's face. I am focusing on you guys. I don't want us to come and start doing, but he's, he made a very important point. He said, cheating is a no no, be it a man. Be it a woman. If you're married, be married. Come on now. Let's just stop all this cheating thing. Be it men and be it women. But there's something I actually want to specify on. Do you know why I am blasting the women more than I blast men when it comes to cheating? I'm not saying a man should cheat or no. But I blast the women more because personally, I'm going to bring this in a very anal analytical, analogical, oh, English, should be a language. Come, kawa lawyer. Let me speak in Igbo before I chop my tongue. Let me put it in a, in a kawa lawyer way, you know, practical way. Women are emotional beings. When a woman starts to cheat, she's gone. Oti law. You can even see that this woman is the one that complains. I don't think any man is going to send me a message and tell me blessing. I am tired of cheating. They never get tired of cheating until they get prostate cancer. The only thing that can keep your man in one place is so sometimes you might want to pray for post cancer. <clears throat> so 
I'm going to say to women, women are emotional beings. And once a woman starts to sleep around, she starts to give so much. Women are collectors and are keepers. Men are givers. A man can conveniently sleep with 10 women and still go back home. I'm not supporting children. I'm only telling you why for me, I say women, it comes with a cost. I have not told you that when a man sleeps around, it comes to cover for women. Because we are collectors and we are keepers. For every of this man you sleep with, I am not sure that you are using protection. You don't say since I see condom. I'm not even sure the people they say condom, did they say? Nobody they use condom again except me. Do I even use condom? Oh God, I use the national television. Make less form innocence. Wow. Well, once you test the forbidden fruit, you are not going back. <laughs> just like egg. So don't mind me. I'm just trying to say women are collectors and are keepers. How many sperm do you want to collect and keep? Let's be very honest. If we want to do So the truth about it is that we, our body is different from men. Men throw out. They give. They jack off. Women, anything we enter our body, that's when it comes to infection and all those stuff. And that's why it looks as if men barely forgive cheating. Because even me as a woman, I want to put myself to be a man. I can't even phantom it. How many sperm do you want to keep? Because these things go inside of you. They don't go. So women are beg. I know say, yes, so sometimes it could be crazy out there, but let's, let's, let's give ourselves some decency. And I think they affect us for marriage now. Actually, us, where they single, every man will not generalize. Now, any small thing a man don't call you a show, or low show. Now, now, a lot of married men, are even, married women are even more prostitute than single people. Yes, I'm saying it's authority. I see them every day. You see people conveniently cheating in marriage. And we have single people that go to their houses every day without cheating. Yes. Marriage doesn't make you decent automatically. We have a lot of indecent women that are just lucky to have good men in their lives. So for me, it's a no-no. I will slam you. If you come and tell me that you are cheating on your husband, I will report it to your husband and I will call you out on social media. I will not call you out, but I will report it to your husband. But please, don't mind me. I'm joking. It's not something to be proud of. Even if you're doing it or you're doing it, I think it's time to stop and find another means of livelihood. Because what makes a married woman sleep around is practically, you're not going to tell me it's lack of sex. Is it lack of sex? Yeah, sometimes it's lack of sex. But the most things that make a lot of women sleep around is money. That's the truth. Finance. The fact that you married a man that cannot afford the bill. So we can always help our men. There are lots of things women we can do. And as women, we're even opportuned. You get places where men no fear enter where we as women, we can enter. It doesn't have to be with your private parts. If you're a woman with brain, you're a woman with vision, you will break any door, you got bawa door. You get joke with bawa door. So you don't have to use pekus to be bawa line door. Pekus, they old. So how long do you want to continue? Hmm? You know, women are like rose flower. Let me give you guys more motivation. If you don't water it, it gets, you know, it doesn't blow them. You get, uh -huh. so women, please. So that, and most of you women, let me add this before I forget. I think people are looking at me right now. Am I, not, am I not looking fresh? Am I not looking like 16 year old? If you sleep around, you'll be shrinking. Yes, you'll be looking older than your age. Many young girls that you are seeing today, 21 years, 19 years, they look like 72 year old woman. It's because of a bit of shaker. You know, a girl, There are some married women you even see, you think that your husband is maltreating them. No, is that thing that you are doing. You know yourself. That thing that you are doing is that's what's making you look older. Ask your medical doctor. When you are collecting different abito shaker, you'll be, you'll be shrinking. That's the honest truth. So women, sometimes I always say, you don't stop cheating because of even love. It's for your sanity, for your peace of mind, for you to be able to reason. Why is this woman sleeping around? Her brain has been delusioned. She can't even reason. This woman that is sleeping around that is a prostitute in her marriage, she can't even sit down and think of a business because her quakus is on the run. But if you're a woman that don't sleep around, trust me, your, your creative mind will always be thinking. Instead of you to be looking for where to carry your quakus to, you will lie down in your bed and look at your ceiling and get creative. Where does money come from? Creativity. So, madam, drop quakus once I zip your leg or we go use needle and thread. Stitch your quakus and start to use your brain. You also don't to walk. Rest. May your brain walk. May no numb. Put small oil on that brain. Don't forget you can still call the number. Don't mind the fact that I'm speaking all my language. Hello? Hello, good evening. Good evening, sir. Amen. I'm actually calling to do. Today is their day. Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you, sir. Go ahead. What's your name and where are you calling from? Yeah, my name is Matthew. I'm coming from Medo State. Okay, sir. Go ahead. I can hear you. What do you want to contribute? Yeah, I want to say everybody has been saying like what they have to say. 
bonu bori activity anything about communication because um when you are growing up your parents teach you how to cook, how to be a good wife but they don't actually teach you how to communicate to your husband how to say certain things in a certain manner that it will not cause issue or more argument or problems see because for a woman to stay for that long and not decided by herself oh, she wants to go and start flipping around so the issue must have been so much for her to get because i'm sure she's i'm sure for that subject like that she didn't tell anybody I'm, i'm i'm not even sure she told her husband the way she actually felt about the way he's being like the way he's um reacting like the way he's not providing for the family so he gets mm. so stuff that i'm supposed to talk to like tell the man are you ready to work are you ready to do something with you or will you not so not the way forward you don't just by yourself make a decision because something like that is so so much wrong for a woman to do something like that so i think the problem is communication they are not speaking to each other hmm. and this thing should be easy it gets better before you got married communication should be the most easiest thing in marriage and none of them if you were to check now like most families most um, ones and why they don't communicate with each other they just do what they want and I expect the consequence and result. So that's what I want to say. Especially on women's men, it's down to talk to their wife. Thirty manners, thirty days. It's not about if you um, anger fight. Try and come and say, "I see husband. Now you guys got married. You pay bad price. Are you scared to talk to your husband or your wife? Let them talk to each other." Wow. Thank you so much. I actually love this caller. God bless you for calling. I think it took us to another dimension. And that's the reason why I actually like the fact that I actually like the fact that um, we are communicating. You see, my mind did not even go to communication. I was, I've just been here blasting women, and I'm not even looking at it from this perspective. And I like the fact that people are calling and a very important dimension. Like he even said, we are shouting on the woman and saying you are sleeping around. Is this man ready to walk? And another thing that he actually said, does this man actually know that this body is weighing you? Because from the way you are sounding, it didn't even sound like you guys communicated. You have already accepted the role as a man, and has already accepted the role as a woman. I don't think you've actually sat your husband down and told him, "Baby, this burden is getting so much. Can you get a job?" So I think this caller made a very, 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 very important loophole in relationship and marriage. Are you talking? Because most times I am saying it. A lot of people come and talk to me as a therapist. They don't talk to their husbands. There is something I also learned as a therapist. I always appeal when women come to me for therapy. I will tell you, please, can I talk to your husband? Because I notice that most times you come and tell me what your husband is doing, and your husband doesn't even know what he's doing. And so many times I get to communicate with a lot of men. They don't even know what they did to their wives. So women, and the same thing with um, men, they don't know what they, women, they don't know what they did to their husband. There are some people that actually complain. They don't communicate. They will go to their friends and tell their friends all their wife's bad character. This person that you are complaining about doesn't even know that she has a bad character. So I think this caller has actually given us another open roof. Communicate. If the burden has become so much, tell your husband, baby, nah, I've done this for nine years. Can you help me before I die? I think those come is a human being because the way you even came and painted this man now we've not heard from this man who so we don't even know what's happening so I'm also going to say I think I like this caller communicate with him let's see if he's willing to walk if he's willing to say okay baby I've been waiting for you to say something let me help you so you know most times now you take carry your marriage you don't even know whether you beat the man for house because you know when people just come and give us straight stories like this and we don't hear from the other party we never can tell what's going on so I'm going to say this caller gave us a very super you know foundation to stand on communicate if he's heavy tell your husband or oh, me darling baby this is getting so much on me and remember communication is not to be shouting you know oh god you're a useless man for nine years i carry he will not answer you he will remain useless i think let's communicate with love even when they talk self oh god i need to learn communication too baby i've done this for nine years and it's, it's actually heavy and there's another the economy is get in fact If you enter market last three years with 100k, you can shop for the whole house. But baby, right now, if I go into the market with the same 100k, it's not possible. If I'm using 100k to shop for the whole house last two years or last three, four years, now it's 500k. I don't think there's any man that you will talk to like this. Even if the man is an animal in the jungle, even dog. 
dog, if you communicate with them where they see reason, even cats, on top of a human being. So I think it's how do we pass this message to our men? And even if that man is a lazy, I don't even think anybody is a lazy person. I think we just breed them. We make monsters. We build monsters. There is nobody that, there is no man that is born bad or born lazy. Or no woman is born a prostitute. It is we that breed these people. Only us will use our hand and breed monsters. Only us will be complaining. Because most of these monsters that we face, we made them. Yes, so including me. Toxic men, no. Toxic women, no. You must be an enabler for somebody to be toxic to you. Now you sit down there, they call it slap. The day where you tell the person, Oga, I they go, I don't want to call it slap again. Toxicity ends. So let's stop, you know, creating monsters and focus on bettering people. So I think I'm going to key into this communication part because I think that's the major part about relationship and marriage that we lose out in, communication. We just feel that our husbands and our wives should be married. You're supposed to know now. In our guest sense, no. Let's communicate. That's why you call your husband baby. You call your wife baby. We are all babies. Every day we unlearn, we relearn. There is nobody that is too big to learn. That thing that you actually think your husband or your wife know, they don't know. Communicate to them. Even if you've said it before, keep repeating it. That is what relationship and marriage is about. We will continue repeating ourselves till the day we die. After all, how many times you don't tell you make you repent? How many times you don't come and collect communion, chop, say I have repented? You are still a fornicator and an adulteress. Let's quickly go on a break. All these women that are going around a bit of shika, wearing things like this, seducing people. Oh, please, where's my jacket? I'm actually decent. It's just the show. Outside the show, I have jacket too. I'm not, I'm not a prostitute. <laughs> please don't judge me. Don't judge me with my bit of shika. Oh. <laughs> Once you see me with my bit of shika, you think I want all the show. I beg go. That's a television idea. I don't keep pressing. So let's quickly go on the break, guys. Hi guys, welcome back to Moments with Blessing CEO. It's T Channel 189 Pop Central DS TV. So feel free to call in the number on your screen. And please, if you're calling, turn down the volume of your television. We are still talking about the woman who married herself and flirting in the marriage. Hello? We have a caller. Hello. Hello. Hello, good evening, sir. What's your name and where are you calling from? This is uh, Dr. Frank, I'm calling you from Gombe. Okay, sir, you want to contribute something to the show? Go ahead. See, uh, I, I don't want people to get this whole thing mixed up. Okay. Hello, I'm out to bless and see you. Yes, sir, I can hear you loud and clear. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, there's, no, there's no method to marriage. Okay. And there's no reason to cheat in marriage. Okay. What simply happened between these two people is just that they, they switch role. I can remember there was a time in my marriage I was opportune to do the domestic work. Believe me, it's a hell of a job. Wow. It's not easy. They simply just switch roles, and that didn't give them. That is not supposed to give the woman any reason to cheat. If she can't, it's just for them to reverse the situation. Okay. Come back home, talk to your husband, and the issue is solved. It doesn't mean the man is lazy. It's not easy taking care of the children, cleaning the house. It's a hell of a job. I tell my patients sometimes. That I used to say, oh, I don't have, all those housewives that said they don't have a job. And I tell them they are doing a hell of a job being at home. I have experienced it. And believe me, it's not something I want to experience again. Wow. So it's, it's as simple as she coming back home and explaining to her husband that, see, this, this road you have given me, it's not paying me very well. I am not faring so well finding it. I should. I want to take back my domestic activity and everything is solved. She has no reason to cheat. Even if this such a woman, even if she's given one billion naira, because there is still more outside there, she will see cheat. Wow. She's just looking at, for an excuse. There's no amount of money you are going to give to somebody that is willing to cheat that will stop him or her from cheating. Because there's always more out there. 
is your your the eye will never be contented. So the reason to cheat can't be uh, explained by simply because the husband is not doing anything. There are women working. See, in relationship, you can decide to say, okay, see, if, for instance, your husband is the one that is more educated and you are deficient in that aspect, you allow him to take responsibility of fending for the family while you take care of where you are stronger. And if it is you that is more, that has the, more, the, the higher ability to fend for the family, fine. You can go out there, get a very lucrative job. I had a friend growing up who, whose uh, wife was a big banker, and he was just a trade man. He takes care of the children, takes care of the house, takes care of the little business he does, and the wife, the wife is traveling up and down, making all the connections and everything. It doesn't matter how you decide to leave your marriage. As long as it works for you, it's fine. So she should stop complaining. <coughs> There is no reason to cheat. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you. I, I think I need more callers. Let's let's take more calls. Even me, see, see the way I was just nodding my head. Relationship experts see me at the nod head because I think I love, I love blessing CEOs fan. You guys are intelligent. Mwah. See how you are educating me. I did not, me where they say I know book. See doctor call. I did not head like goats. Thank you so much, sir. You made a what? You made a lot of sense. We have another caller. Hello. Hello. Good evening, sir. Good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Okay, um, Kenneth. I'm calling from Abuja. Okay, sir. Go ahead. You want to contribute to the show? Yeah. Uh, my my contribution is very simple. Um, one. Uh, she said she paid her bride. Uh, bride price, right? Yes, sir. Well, if you look at it, what percentage of bride price is the whole cost of a wedding? I'm Igbo from Ibanko to the white wedding and like Shebi and stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't you can't spend four million and somebody says he's paying bride price of uh, one hundred thousand. I say he has done much. You know that is uh, that that is one two. Any woman. Especially a married woman that wants to cheat, will cheat. Mm. My dear, give her 10 million naira, she will cheat. Mm. Buy Venza for her. The next person that can give her 20,000 naira to buy for her, she will cheat with the person. Ew. So it's not an issue of her husband is this or her husband is that. There are so many women who, who are in Nigeria, their husbands are in Canada or in U.S., they are, they are not cheating. Your only husband is there with you. You say he doesn't have money. The, the, the bottom line is that she wants to cheat. And you can't stop any woman that wants to cheat. You can't stop her. Even if you carry Mopol to guide her up and down, she will cheat with the Mopol. Mm. Are you getting me? Yes, now, sir. you now discover that a lazy man, the truth of the matter, has no place in Nigeria. You, you will die young. That is just the truth. You, you can't be lazy in Nigeria now. So if the man is lazy, I think the fault is with the woman. Because any man who knows that his wife cheats and still sleeps with her in the same bed, in the same house, the woman should even be afraid of that man. Mm. I'm just telling you, if a, as a woman... The, the husband knows that you cheat and you're still sleeping in the same house with him and he's not talking, the woman should be afraid of the man. Because I, I don't think there's anything as painful as a woman cheating. You know, and the truth of the matter is that you, you don't learn cheating when you're married. You don't learn double dating when you're married. Hmm. You must have been doing it as a spinster. You know, many young girls now, they have three or four men or uh, five. But if you get married, trust me, you're already an expert in double dating. You're, you're serving the work. So it will, be new. it will be something that will really put pressure on you anymore. You know the names to save. You know how to make call. You know how to dodge the call. You know how to hide the money and stop. Disappearing so mood. 
if that woman is cheating now, trust me, when she was a spinster, she get like four or five. And it's, it's just the truth of the matter. Any woman who never double dated as a spinster will find it very, very difficult to cheat. If she cheats, they go catch up. You Thank you so help. much. God bless you, my darling. Ah! So, so men, when they talk, this is the first time I am seeing men in their, in their full agbada. You know they talk. I need more men. This man just shake me. He said something I repeated before I take the next call. He said, and I will give him a round of applause. If you are cheating as a married man, you be a losho a spinster. Adia amua keke na ampaka. It simply means you know they learn left hand for old age. If na follow come, if na bet rights. And there's also something he said. I used to ask some of my friends, how do you guys do all this abito shaker switching? That's what the man said. You would have been doing it, know how to disappear. Once, once your, your, your girlfriend's message is on disappearing mood, cheating, we will take the next caller. Please let me not go and cause trouble. Though. Disappearing mood, people. That's another format for the new cheaters. Oh, that's the Gen Z, but it's cheating. They put disappearing mood. Hello? Hello? Good evening, darling. Hello? Good evening there. How are you? What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello? I can hear you. Hello? Thank God, saying that women, they on television. Men, thank you, my... You see, men, see how that man spoke, and you put head in very loud and clear. What's what the volume of your TV? Mm -mm. Hello, hello. Reduce the volume of your TV. Before me, you put sure and our tone on the camera. We have another caller. Hello, good evening. We lost the caller. Please turn down the volume of your TV. I would prefer the men calling up. I actually enjoy men's conversation. I never knew that men were this depth. Because they get some topic, only women go to call. This particular topic, I like the fact that men are calling. And I like the fact that they are educating women. We have another caller. Hello. Hello? Hello, good evening. Good evening, darling. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, good evening, ma. Good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? I'm Abigail. I'm calling from Lagos. I'm going to be precise. Okay, so go ahead. Um, ma, I'm a big fan of yours, a very big fan of yours. Even my mom. My mom loves following you on Facebook, she has all your social media handles. She likes talking about you. She's a very big fan of yours. I and love to her. she would like to, I think she would like to see you one on one or talk to you. Okay. No problem. So um, probably you can send me a DM on my Instagram handles and we can pick it up from okay, there. Thank you, ma'am. All right, darling. Mm. My love to your mom. <laughs> All right, Darlene. So we have a fan. She said that mom wanted to speak to you. So we need more callers to contribute on the show. Hello, Mr. Hello, Darlene. Good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Good evening. Good evening. I really enjoy your program. Thank you so yeah. much, Darlene. Great. Thank you. You want to contribute to the show? Yeah. Go ahead. I like your program. I learn a lot from you. Thank you. Yes. Mm. Thank you. All right, darling. Thank you so much. Hello? Hello, ma'am. Okay, so we lost the call. She said she loved the show. And she's learning. I like the fact that women are actually calling and they are very sweet. And I'm glad you guys are learning. So if you want to call, please turn down the volume of your TV. The number to call is right on your screen. We want to get a lot of calls. I want your opinions. Hello? Hello? Hello, good evening. <laughs> Good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from, beautiful? Hello? What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Nonye. I'm calling from Abuja. Okay, Nonye. So do you want to contribute to the show? Thank you. Bless me. Hello? Right. You want to contribute to the show? Do you have something you want to contribute to the show? Thank you, Auntie Blessing. Go ahead. You're welcome. Okay, please, Auntie Blessing. Um, I just want to digress a bit. Go ahead. Can you just talk about um, all these married women in in civil service? 
sleeping around me. Can you talk about it as it one day? I beg you. I will. I will. All right, thank you so much. She said I should talk about women sleeping around in civil service. <laughs> women in civil service. Come and bribe me, oh. Because if I come for you guys, I will be calling institutions. I will be calling places. A bit of, if like people should carry DSS, Interpol, EMCC, I will call places. Hello? Hello, good evening. Hello, please. Black How are you doing? Your voice is so sexy. Where, what's your name and where are you calling from? I'm um, Chibike um, Chigingu. Okay. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Lagos. I'm okay. calling Right, yeah. Okay, so you want to contribute to the show? No, I just want to tell you that I'm a big fan and I and I love what you're saying. It's so inspirational. Thank you. I would love to meet you. Okay, please send me a direct message if you want to meet me and I will respond on any of my Instagram or probably Facebook handle. God bless you and I love you too. But wait, to before we take the other caller, cello, cello, why are women digressing? Do you people notice that today, women don't have opinion. Today, now, nah, I'm your fan. We have a lot of, I, I, we've not gotten any opinion from, okay, very few women. Women, what is happening? I need your opinion, and I love you guys, too. So call the number right on your screen, and please, when you're calling, turn down the volume of your TV. We want to get more opinions. We want to hear what you have to say at the back of your mind. Stop grumbling. Stop being a troll. This is a very beautiful show where you can come and air your mind and your opinion, and it's going to be heard. But if you come for me on social media, I will reply you back. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Please, I want to talk to Blessed CEO. Now me. Now me. They talk to Blessed CEO. What's it be your name? What's it? Now, nah, maybe it is. You're talking to Blessing. I want to talk to Blessing. See you. Who are you? So, this lady wants to talk to Blessing. See you. She's watching Blessing. See you. And she's like, you are seeing me shouting, Nami, Nami. Can I ask you want to talk to Blessing? See you. Is it my spirit that is speaking? So, feel free to call the number right on your screen. We want to get lots of opinions. I like the way men are talking. Normally, on this show, they talk to us. Hello? Hello? Hello, good evening. Good evening, darling. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Blessing and I'm calling from Bombay. I want to contribute to the show. Go ahead, Blessing. I can hear you. Okay. Um, I think that the, that woman that is cheating, she has no reason to cheat. She's just looking for an excuse to cheat. She's looking for someone to pity her mm. because her husband is not contributing. Why didn't she think of getting another job or some other side hustles? Why it must it be cheating? Because when you cheat, you're not hurting anybody except yourself. It's mm. not like you're sleeping with his father or his best friend. You're sleeping with random guys. Anything could happen to you. There's no mm. point. You don't have an excuse. You should not have an excuse. You should be looking for something to give you money if money is your problem, not cheating. Mm. So, yeah. Thank you so much, cool. my darling. Hmm. I like this woman. woman. She, was just, she was just straight up. She said, in fact, I like this caller. She just, she, just, she just gave us a very good, you know. She said, you are a cheat. It has nothing to do with money. And I'm so happy that this is coming both from men and coming from women. Coming from doctors and Important personalities, not be all these social media trolls. You can see important people calling. If you're a cheat, you are a cheat. It has nothing to do with a lazy man, lazy woman. If you be a shower, if you be a shower, it's your blood. So I don't think, and you've heard men say, buy a woman a Venza, she will look for the one that will give her money for food. That will enter body. Buy a woman's phone, she go cheat for a person where they send her a recharge card. You are a cheat. It's your blood. So I'm going to say to every beautiful woman out there, we are not even here to judge you. Now, condition, I make crayfish burn. But please, it shouldn't be a habit. It shouldn't be something you accept. Don't cheat because you're broke. That's a wrong mindset. I'm happy that people are telling you that cheating does not give money. Cheating makes you a prostitute. People who cheat are not rich. The woman actually called us to help her because she's not even making money from the cheating. So if you want to make money, go and walk. So there is nothing like I cheated because my husband is lazy or I cheated because I'm looking for money. If you're a prostitute, you're a prostitute. 
prostitution has, I don't even give this. If you come near me and tell me the reason why I went to prostitution is because I don't have money, I'll tell you, it's a lie. Wakuna. It's your blood. You like Ebola? So I'm going to say to every beautiful woman out there, please, let's allow men be men. And we can also do a lot. Women, we are very powerful. We can always assist our men. Jokes apart, and we don't have to sleep around to do that. There is something it does to a man's ego. It bruises their ego. No matter how lazy a man is, it's except that man just wants something from you and want to get out. I don't think there's any man, no matter how lazy he is, that wants to share his wife, not even girlfriend, with somebody else. So I'm going to be leaving you guys with this. As a woman, fidelity is not for your husband or for your boyfriend. Fidelity is for yourself. The moment you learn how to be faithful, you'll be focused. The moment you learn how to be faithful, you'll be creative. Because there's a perception and a narrative I want to correct on this particular show. Cheating is not for marriage or relationship. Fidelity is for yourself. There is this peace of mind that comes with it. There is this focus, there is this creativity. That's the reason why even you as a woman watching me don't believe that your fellow woman can make money without prostitution. When I come out boldly, and I'm even going to say it on national television, I never do a shower before. I decree so. But I have never been paid for sex. I use it to brag. I am controversial. I am crazy. But when it comes to a shower, in all day, my blood. I work for every money that I have. So some of you women don't even believe that. A lot of women don't sleep around. That's because that's who you are. There are women who make millions of naira without patting their legs. They actually sleep with men that they love by choice, not prostitution. So this is to inspire every woman out there. You can make money without patting your legs. Develop your brain and close your legs. I love you guys. And I'm going to be seeing you guys next time, same time, same station. And don't touch that dial. It's Moments with Blessing CEO. I love you guys. Let me go and take a bottle of Abito Shaker.